Layer 0, with a valuation of $3 billion, with over 35 audits, and cross-chain functionality that is very convenient. You probably want to know what it is, how it works, and how to get involved. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. We're talking about layer zero. We're going to go into how it works, the potential of an airdrop, and who's actually using the technology now. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dan and I make crypto content. So feel free to stick around and I'm going to try to make this easy to understand even if you have very limited experience in crypto and DeFi, that's decentralized finance. What is layer zero? We're going to use the exact definition, then I'm going to break it down into everyday language that anyone can understand. Layer zero is an omni-chain interoperability protocol designed for lightweight message passing across chains. Layer zero provides authentic and guaranteed message delivery with configurable trustlessness. That's a lot of technical jargon and it's it sounds more complicated than it is. Now, layer zero, that's just the name of the protocol, which is another name for application. So let's just say the application or software name is called layer zero, an omni-chain interoperability protocol. That just means it's connecting blockchains. And it's not in the same way that blockchain bridges work today because they work in one direction. With Omnichain, it means it can move between any blockchain. So instead of moving your USDT from Solana to Ethereum to Arbitrum, because that's the only way to do it at the moment, having that Omnichain functionality will allow you to save time and take out those extra steps needed where you'll be able to directly move from one blockchain to another. Lightweight message passing across chains. So the underlying technology of layer zero is it's a messaging platform. It sends secure messages between blockchains saying, hey, someone initiated this transfer. You can release these funds on the other blockchain. Now, security is very important for this because you don't want those funds lost. You don't want someone else to throw a message in there. You don't want a hack. Now we'll get into the billions of dollars lost in bridge hacks later in this video, but it's very important to have a secure platform when moving assets around in crypto. Layer zero provides authentic and guaranteed message delivery with configurable trustlessness. That's just a super fancy way of saying it's secure up until however level you want. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that layer zero will never be hacked. We don't know that a blockchain platform or application or anything in crypto is pretty much safe until it's hacked because a lot of hacks happen. And let's figure out how much has been lost to hacks. So we are in DeFi Llama. We're going to go to the hack section and over $6.4 billion has been lost due to hacks and over 2.5 billion have been due to bridge hacks. So these are bridges that got hacked and that means they weren't secure. You can see here that the hacks really picked up in late 2021 and just continue to get bigger and bigger. So you can see how important it is for bridges to be safer in crypto because even if you're not invested in anything in DeFi, you're just holding cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange, this still affects you. If you are holding cryptocurrency, the value of that cryptocurrency can drop in the event of a large hack because then the entire market starts to feel it. As for the name, Layer Zero, that is the name of the protocol, the company, the technology behind it. But remember, that's just a name. But what it's really symbolizing is how it is the base layer between blockchains. Because we have layers like Layer 1, which is your Ethereum, your Solana, your Phantom. These are Layer 1 blockchains that operate on smart contracts that run decentralized applications. Then you have your Layer 2 blockchains like Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon. These make Layer 1 blockchains like Ethereum faster and cheaper. Layer 0, really good name, it implies that it is the layer underneath all the other layers that will connect to everything. So if you're wondering about how layers work, that's what that means. 
And now that I've explained what is Layer Zero, you probably want to get started using it, and you go to their website, LayerZero.network, and yeah, this is it. Just, you know, information, no actual application, and that's because Layer Zero is the underlying technology that's used in other applications. So, for example, Layer Zero is working with Radiant Capital, Stargate Finance, and this is their bridge, you can see it connects to multiple networks there. They've been working with SushiSwap, which you can see right here. The technology is still being developed, it's still in its very early stages, and more partner integrations are very likely to happen. And with that type of valuation, $3 billion, can you expect an airdrop? Maybe. A lot of people are expecting an airdrop, and that's if you get involved with their ecosystem, if you use protocols that use Layer Zero, you could potentially be eligible for an airdrop. Now, there are multiple videos speculating about this online, so it's just basically you using Radiant Finance, Stargate, and anything else that uses Layer Zero's technology, and that does involve bridging between different blockchains. But will Layer Zero actually have an airdrop? It's hard to tell. It makes sense if they do because they have a $3 billion valuation. If they do a token sale, they could potentially be listed as a security, which makes it more difficult for exchanges to list them, especially in the US. So if they want this to be globally accessible, potentially we could see a Layer Zero airdrop. And I would like to see that because I have been using Layer Zero with the protocols I have just mentioned. And if you want to get started with Layer Zero, you might want to start checking out some of the protocols that use its technology, like Stargate Finance or Radiant Capital. There's a couple more, but these are pretty easy to use. With Stargate Finance, you would just bridge tokens between different networks. You could jump into their liquidity pools or farms. And with Radiant Capital, pretty much the same thing, just in a different way. A lot of DeFi apps are pretty much the same thing, but slightly different with different branding. And if you do decide to get involved in DeFi, just remember it's very dangerous, hacks happen all the time, and you can lose all your funds in an instant. And that's something I learned too, because I lost a lot of money in Harmony when their bridge was hacked. All my funds pretty much went to zero in their blockchain. So be very careful out there and be aware of those risks. Okay, so to recap, Layer Zero is a messaging protocol that allows blockchains to communicate with each other securely. And through this communication, bridging assets between blockchains is possible. It's omnidirectional. You can move assets from any blockchain to any blockchain rather than being directional, where it has to go from one blockchain to another to connect to another. So we can kind of compare this between flights, where an airplane can fly anywhere, and cars, where a car has to take certain roads to get to its destination. It might have to connect through several different places, but when you're flying, you can go anywhere in any direction. And driving is very linear paths. I don't know if that's a good example. Well, let me know in the comments. Did you get it? If you did, then I did all right with this video. And if that sounds good, feel free to hit that like button and check out the links in the description if you want to join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, or get a sporadic newsletter that I'm working on and trying to be more consistent. The links are in the description. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.